happy day friends today we are going to discuss about the form 10f which is going to be applicable from 1st april 2023 applicable means when it is going to be filed online although it was filed offline earlier now the applicability is that you have to file online now first what is form 10f the form 10f is applicable when the remittance is to be made to the foreign company or to the foreign individual for the business purpose the form 10f is to be filed by the foreign supplier to the individual resident or the corporate resident in india when they are subject to the withholding tax under section 195 195 section b is where you have to withhold the tax that means tds is applicable tax deducted at source is applicable on the individual or the corporate sector for making payment to the foreign supplier now moving further when which type of remittances or which are covered in this the remittances can be made for either business or for purpose personal purpose when we are making the remittance for personal purpose then this form is need not be complied with but when we are making the remittance for business purpose then this form 10f is to be complied with moving further in business purpose the remittances can be made for purchasing goods or availing the services when we are making purchasing the goods then there is no requirement for deducting tax at source or withholding tax in other words is applicable on the same but when we are making payment for the services then the question of deduction of tax is applicable so it, till this point we are clear that when we are purchasing any good from any country then this form 10f is not required to be filed by the supplier as we are not supposed to deduct the tax on the same now when we are making payment for the services then this form 10f to be is to be complied with by the supplier of the services and now we will discuss that form 10f is to be filed at which stage form 10f is filed only and when we are going to give a benefit under double taxation avoidance agreement suppose we are making any payment to a foreign supplier for any consultancy or any technical fees or any royalty then we need to deduct tax at source and we need to check whether any withholding tax is required as per the provisions of the income tax act or under the provisions of double taxation avoidance agreement so these two things are kept in mind when we decide to deduct a withholding tax this job is being done by the specialized person only a specialized person here refers to a chartered accountant who auth- who advises that which rate is applicable when you are making a payment for the services to the individual foreign resident or to a corporate when we are going to deduct a tax under the foreign remittance is being made to outside party then the question of form 10f arises if no tax is to be deducted and the treaty benefit is to be given then the role of form 10f is applicable now we assume a situation that when we are making a payment to a foreign supplier for the services and withholding tax is not to be deducted as per the provisions of the income tax act the situation is when we are availing any legal consultancy services from a foreign individual or from a foreign corporate and the tax is not to be deducted because the non resident is located outside india and his income is not taxable in india then the tax is not being deducted because of the provisions of the income tax act because non resident is not supposed to pay any tax on the business income in india now on the other side if you are making any payment for technical services royalty then you need to go through the provisions of the treaty and the treaty what treaty which we have to look into is that with which country we are dealing with 
for that we need the we need to give a benefit to the foreign supplier under the treaty if any applicable for definition purposes or for the withholding tax rate purposes i am repeating again when we are making a payment to any foreign supplier and we want to give the benefit under the treaty then the form 10f comes into picture when we look into where a, a country for which the foreign supplier is located in in other words we need a tax residency certificate from a foreign supplier that in which country his tax residency is located then we give the benefit for uh, to the foreign supplier after going through the treaty in which this foreign supplier is located if the foreign supplier suppose is operating from america then we need a tax residency certificate which shows that this entity is a tax resident of us then only we go through we give the benefit of that treaty why this form 10f comes into picture because sometimes you know when we are buying something from the us so we are availing services from us but we are making payment to the china then the question comes that for which country the which treaty is applicable on this in this case then we had we need a tax residency certificate from a foreign supplier that his tax residency is located in us not in china even though we are making payment to china so this form 10f comes into picture to give the benefit under form 10f the foreign supplier needs to have a permanent account number in india and he needs to provide the tax residency certificate so that we can give the benefit of the treaty the benefit can be in the form of you know uh, that raw definition that his may payment may not be subject to withholding tax because of the treaty or he may be subject to a lower rate of deduction of tds in that case the form 10f helps and that will give will act as the evidence or a supporting document to the department so that why you have claimed the relief and on what what basis you are moving for giving relief in the form 10f form 10f requires a basic information from the supplier it has six uh, sub clauses which requires the status the permanent account number the nationality the tax identification number of the country for period for which it is required and the address of the entity or the individual abroad so the basic information is required to give the treaty benefit in case the foreign remittance is made for the services hope i am clear on this in case you have any query uh, my phone number is on my website www.munishmehta.in you can log in there you can get my contact details you can write to me i will be happy to answer your query good day everybody i will be coming with another videos shortly thank you